can be described as an aircraft without an engine and it stays in the air by flying in air currents. These can be either wind blowing over mountain ranges or bubbles of hot air rising on a summer's day. In a, the glider pilot has to look for these currents of rising air and then use the height that he gains to cover distance. The glider gets into the air either by being pulled up by another aeroplane or pulled by a winch or some of them have motors, engines that they use to take off with and then retract them for flying. This particular one cannot take off by itself but it uh, can stay in the air by using a jet engine which is also fully retractable. The aircraft was built at Potsdam by the Jonker Sailplanes Company the company was started by two brothers, Ace and Atti Jonker, with the, the ideal of building a world-class competition glider in which they have succeeded. This glider is intended to take part in gliding competitions that typically consist of tasks of several hundred kilometers that the gliders have to fly and the person who flies the fastest over a set course is the winner. The maximum speed that the glider is allowed to fly is around 300 kilometers per hour. But it's not efficient to fly that fast in a competition. The typical speeds for competitions are around 160 kilometers per hour. And the maximum distance that they can cover is about 1,500 kilometers. Most of my work um, can be called flutter analysis. We must determine by testing and calculation that aircraft are safe to fly uh, with regard to flutter. Um, flutter is a vibration of an aircraft that can lead to the destruction of the aircraft and it will occur above a certain speed. We are in the hall of the medium speed wind tunnel of the CSIR. The reason why we are here is because we need this height to suspend the aircraft behind me. The purpose of the test is to measure the natural modes of the aircraft and because of the long wingspan the frequencies of the lowest natural modes are quite low, about 2 Hz. And we need to suspend the aircraft in such a way that the first rigid body frequency is less than 1 Hz. And for that we suspend it from long springs. The springs must extend by more than a meter. And that uh, requires a total length of about seven meters from the ground to the top of the springs. Glider can be flown in two different classes, either the 18 meter class or the open class. The configuration that we are testing here is the 18 meter configuration and the difference is just in the wing tip. You fit a different outer portion of the wing for the different classes. Any object including aircraft can vibrate in a number of modes of vibration. For any object that's standing still these vibrations will eventually die away but for an aircraft that's flying through the air the vibrations can actually grow and destroy the aircraft. The purpose of ground vibration testing is to measure the natural modes of vibration for the aircraft. Then through calculation we calculate the aerodynamic forces that are generated by these vibrations and ultimately we calculate the speed at which the vibrations will become unstable, which is the flutter speed of the aircraft. The client wants to certify this aircraft in Europe 
So our results we will be presented to the European Aviation Authorities who will then grant a type certificate to this aircraft.